Now that we have imported our first static mesh into our game, this step is going to be all about what we need to do to make changes to that mesh, such as putting materials on it. And we'll have a look at the static mesh editor as we do that. So uh, you can see I've still got my content drawer open from the end of the last step. So what I will now do is just double click on this mesh here and it opens this window, which is known as the static mesh editor. And you can see we've got a viewport here, which allows me to look around the asset. You can see at the moment there's no material on it. So it shows us this kind of gray checkerboard uh, little pattern thing going on, which is good. We have a tab here, which can be quite useful. We'll, we'll get to that later. We've got a menu bar across the top. We've got a toolbar just here. And then we've got a details panel here, which is really useful for changing the details. And we'll start by looking at the materials. That's the first detail we're going to look at. And because of the way that I've set these assets up to make it sort of a nice gentle learning curve, we've got two material slots here. And that means we can apply two different materials. And you can see I've just named the material two and material one. For some reason, they go in reverse order to what I did them, but I'm not upset about it. It's fine. And then we're just going to use this to put some materials on. So what I'll do first of all is work out which material is which by clicking on the highlight button here. So you can see this is just these strips here, which are like the accents. And so in this case, I know that I want them to have this blue color. So what I'll do is click on where it says world grid material, which is the material that's currently assigned. And then we've got a whole list of materials that are available in the start content that we added when we created the project. And we're just going to use the material here, M underscore basic floor. And that's going to add a bit of a pale blue to these two strips. And then if I highlight the other bit, you can see that's just the rest of this mesh. And I want this one to have M asset platform. And again, if you're wondering about the naming convention, M denotes that it's a material. So that now saves this asset with materials on. It's looking pretty nifty. The only other thing I want to show you while we're in here is that because we import it in a way that would generate collisions, we can now see what those collisions are. So where it says show up here, we can click on that and then simple collision is always the one you want. So if we tick on that, we can then see what the collision looks like. And it's a very, very simple mesh that just sits around our actual mesh that will handle whether or not we should be able to fall through it or whatever. So that's good. Right, we can turn that off by just unchecking that box. And then the final thing we need to do to get this ready is save the asset. So you can see up here, we've got an asterisk. That means it's unsaved, which isn't necessarily the end of the world. But if Unreal Engine was to crash before we'd save this and we'd already put it into our level and done things with it, when we reopen it, it's all kind of gone. So it's a good idea to save these often and early. So we'll click on the little save icon here. There we go. And then we can close the static mesh editor. And then if we just bring this back, the asterisk's gone from here as well, and we can see the asset is there. One other thing that you might want to do just before we close out this step is I've already increased the size of my thumbnail. So if we click on the settings here, go to thumbnail size. I think it starts at medium. That's probably what size yours is at. If you want to make them a bit easier to see, you can go into your thumbnail size and do large or huge. Like Huge is actually quite useful. I'm probably going to leave it on huge so it's easier for you guys to see what we're looking at. And that'll do it for this step. So we've imported our asset and then we've added materials, had a look at the static mesh editor, and now we're ready to put it into our level. So I'll see you in the next step where we will do just that. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and enjoyable. If you're eager to dive deeper into game development with Unreal Engine 5, I have a fantastic recommendation for you. I highly recommend checking out the course Unreal Engine 5, the complete beginner's course by David Nixon on Udemy. It's a comprehensive and beginner-friendly course that covers all the essential aspects of working with Unreal Engine 5. I personally found it to be an excellent resource, and I'm sure you'll benefit from it too. Check it out by following my link in the description below. Once again, thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.